Hey, Chad Carter here with LearnHolllens.com, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the emulator. Now, I'm not going to do a deep dive in the emulator. I actually did this in a master class uh, last month's uh, master class at LearnHolllens.com. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Depending on when you look at it, membership, enrollment may be open or it may not be. Uh, but regardless, if it's not open, jump on the notification list and you'll be notified uh, right before it opens so you can uh, jump in there if this is something that interests you. But the reason why I want to talk about the emulator today on a, in a video here on YouTube is this. When I talk to people about Holland's development, I hear things like, well, I would like to get into HoloLens development. I would like to get into augmented reality and this mixed reality thing. It seems like it's really, really interesting. It's the future. But that device is just so expensive. And that is true. I mean, the device is $3,000. Um, so getting started with the HoloLens, the device itself takes a little bit of an outlay of cash. But the good news is this. You don't have to outlay that cash to begin with. You can get 90% of your app done using the emulator. And in fact, I use the emulator pretty often even though I have a device. Why? Because speed of iteration is pretty quick. Uh, the development iteration, how quick I can get things over there. Once I have the emulator launch, I can try things out quicker. The remoting app that I talked about once before, uh, that helps in certain situations. Um, so I kind of use all three. I use the remoting app, I'll use the emulator, I'll use the device. But here's the point. The emulator itself lets you do um, some pretty amazing things. I mean, it really does a good job of emulating what the device can do. Um, to prove the point, I'm actually going to show spatial understanding, which kind of builds on top of spatial mapping. Spatial mapping um, is what the HoloLens is doing to map the surroundings, make the mesh. Spatial understanding is then some software that's kind of written over that that says find the largest wall in the room or place objects in the air around me, things of that nature. Okay, make sure they don't um, intersect with other, you know, other items in the room. So all that's about what you can see in the room. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to uh, the computer and I'm going to do a quick demo on the emulator showing how spatial mapping works, how spatial understanding works inside the emulator itself. Just showing that you can get this work in the emulator. So that way that's no longer going to be an excuse. You can't say, well, I'm not going to haul this development because I can't afford the device. Or I don't know if I really want to or not without, you know, and I'll have to pay for a device and then I might not like it. You can try out the development environment today for free, including the emulator, no charge, and see if it's right for you. And I'm telling you, uh, this is the future. I mean, whether you're talking about virtual reality or augmented reality, mixed reality, with the whole lens itself, it's uh, it's the future. I mean, this is stuff of science fiction. Uh, this was stuff that inside of Star Wars and Star Trek, you would see these holograms be like, what? And now, this is real. Like, in 2016, this is real and as software developers we have access to this technology right now and uh, it's it's pretty amazing so uh, with that let's jump to the computer and, uh, and we'll get going so the room I have loaded here in the emulator is actually a scan of, of my basement you can see here so as I can move around uh, you can see the portal uh, the device portal which also works for the emulator is is being updated as well so we can see exactly what uh, what we're seeing on the emulator we can see on the left hand side in the portal okay so at this point I'm going to hit the Windows key on the emulator and uh, not open up the store didn't mean to do that so I'm going to again hit Windows key on the emulator and uh, hover over the plus sign so the emulator I'm just hitting my left mouse button to gaze so holding down my left mouse button and kind of moving around and that's controlling my gaze of where I'm looking okay so I'm gonna hover over the uh, plus sign and then I'm just right click and that's how I can you know 
use my gaze and gesture at the same time. So the left mouse click is my gaze, my right mouse click is my tap. So my gaze until I get spatial understanding and then right click uh, to get that. Now I'm just gonna uh, place this app by right clicking. And so now this is our spatial mapping understanding demo that's part of the hollow toolkit so if you're not familiar with the hollow toolkit go grab that it's in github um, i've talked about it several times you can go find it on my uh, resource list on my blog but go grab the hollow toolkit and inside of inside of the hollow toolkit there is an example scene so under hollow toolkit examples you'll see the spatial understanding under scenes there's a spatial under uh, standing example so i simply brought that up and then deployed it to the HoloLens emulator. And that's how I'm running uh, the emulator here. So it's waiting for me to kind of walk around and scan in my environment. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start walking around, looking. And you start seeing the green show up. And this means that the scanning is working. So here is the emulator with our demo or the demo from the hall of toolkit understanding uh, spatial mapping and in fact it's actually running or it's going to run the spatial understanding code and this is what a lot of people would expect you to actually have to have a device to get so it takes a little bit of time uh, to scan in the play space here so we'll just keep walking around and let it scan in so you can see even in the emulator we can get the entire area scanned so the app has determined that we've scanned in enough things that if we want to we can air tap we're going to scan some more So we could continue to scan if we wanted to, uh, but we have quite a bit of information in here. So I'm gonna right click to tap, and this will uh, finalize our play space. All right. And so what the uh, code does out of the box is it generates this UI and shoves up against a wall, in which case would be kind of my uh, my screen down in the basement. And again, same thing holds true. I can go and right click and say shape queries, um, or left click to gaze, like over object pl placement, right click and select that tab. I could say I want to generate things random in the in the air away from me. So as long as I'm gazing over that, then I can right click and we can see it's going to randomly in the air away from me. It generated eight things and I can look around and here they are in the world. So here's the spatial understanding code from the hollow toolkit that is running inside the emulator, even using a custom room. Now the custom room, you would have to have a device to load that up but the rooms uh, that come inside of the emulator uh, can obviously be used because that's the data the emulator is using for its spatial, spatial mapping. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into how powerful using the emulator can be. Zero cost here. Community edition of Visual Studio 2015 is free. Unity 3D is free. There's obviously license agreements you have to accept if you're a company or an individual that's through uh, through these tools we're making uh, more than a certain threshold. I think it's about 100,000. You need to check that out and see um, exactly what the license agreements are for you. But uh, to get started, this stuff is free. And there's really no excuse not to try uh, to get in on this hollow graphic journey. I mean, it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, virtual reality, augmented reality, it's all, it's all really exciting. All right. So hopefully that shows just how easy it is to get going with the emulator and how you don't need 
to have any sort of device or anything else to get going. Um, again, if you want to grab the tools, head over to chancar.net. I have a resource list, and then there's a link uh, to get the tools. It's the first link under the how-tos. And if you're interested in doing a, a deep dive of actually being able to learn about Holland's development um, in a straightforward manner, then go ahead and hit look at learnhollands.com. Learnhollands.com is a membership site uh, that I created a couple months ago. And every month I, I release a master class and have a live Q&A uh, with community members. So all about the Holland. So anything about uh, what the master class was about or any general Holland's development questions. So if that interests you, by all means, hit over there. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.